Hello, plant friends. Welcome back for another episode. This is going to be part two of this series with Jumanji John. He is a hardworking family man who sells plants mostly on Facebook. He sells them, I guess, mostly out of his garage, though realistically his plants are, are sort of everywhere <laughs> around his house. So this episode is going to be on popular house plants. It's a bit on the longer side, uh, so, you know, sit back, relax, get a coffee, and let's, uh, you know, let's enjoy some plants. What are the popular plants right now? I, you know, I've... Oh, man. Uh, you know, everyone, and, all right, forgive me for my mispronunciation of some of these. I have no idea, and I make, make up nicknames for all these plants yeah, along yeah. the way, yeah. you know? But the albos, the Monstera albos, obviously, still yeah. hugely popular. Huge, huge. Um... The Thai constellations are popular too. I know they're going to be coming to big box stores eventually, but you know I still like it. It's still a cool plant, and the big box store isn't a bad thing. Hopefully, they sell huge ones at a fair price. But back to popular plants, definitely the albo for sure, super popular. Super um, popular. Arids in general, you know, um, pink princess. I almost feel like some of these might be on the the last part of their 15 minutes of fame. Oh though. yeah, let me see. Let me see yours. Let's bring a few over. We have. This little guy I like for variegation wise. Some of these guys are a little dusty. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So if you guys have been following some of my episodes, it seems like the pink princess is tissue cultured in Europe and mass even, produced. And yeah, even Australia. I think they're. Ooh, Australia. I think plant. yeah, something around this costs about what, like fifteen to twenty five dollars over, over overseas, overseas mm -hmm. which is which is crazy doesn't mean that we get it for that they're still importing yeah, costs. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah this has not yeah the, the, those prices have not gone over here to the u.s there's no these things are still and they're still slow very, growers very popular yeah they're slow growers uh they're not exactly the most pickiest of the plants i would say you know um this one i happen to take a topping off recently and it, it has two pink leaves so everyone's getting all nervous but I'm not I enjoy it it's yeah. still healthy it's still got a lot of leaves it's still growing so but these are these are very popular plants I would say for sure yeah um, yeah I think these are these are always gonna be popular and well liked um, just, you know hopefully yeah. the prices are gonna go down the well I mean, the prices are inevitably gonna go down because I think uh, the tissue cultured specimens are going to reach the this U.S. Nice guy over here. You know, either this year or next year. Uh, but it's it's really hard to find another plant that's similar to this, right? Like the yeah, the pink prince is just such a good one. This is one of my particular favorite, Jimmy. I love this ring of fire. See the the ring of fire. Well, let's see if we can. Uh, oh, sorry, a little. Oh, there we go. There we go. The ring of fire has not. Caught on a popularity as yes, much? Yes, that's what I would say, yeah. yeah. Yes, I'm bringing it back. I love this thing. It's awesome. It's a really slow grower. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. Not everyone loves it, so that's why I like it more, I think. Yeah, I like I like the, the Ring of Fire, too. I can't... I don't know. I don't know why it, it just never got that popular. It's really nice, right? I yeah, mean, I mean, look at... This one's got a lot of variegations. Yeah, yeah. It's got some pink in it, you know, versus... Here's an example of, you know... One that would be a little bit pricier than the average one you would see yeah. versus... Oh, that one's nice. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Versus less variegation, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Big difference. And, you know, you might oh, yeah. see this one going for your average price versus if I sold that one, the price is probably double. Yes, this one's really nice. Oh, that's like... Hmm. Yeah, I love that one. That that's great. It's one of my favorite ones versus uh, some of these other ones, you know? But... I still yeah, feel the I can popularity. See, I can see why that this is, yeah, you would, this one would, even if the other one was bigger, you would definitely price this a little bit differently. Yes, I, I, I agree. It's it's definitely, it's it's definitely unique. I mean, this one's got oh, a 50-50 yeah. leaf. I can see a hint of uh, some, maybe some pink in there, but nothing yeah, compared to that one. This one's really nice, yeah. Very mature. Unreal. I, that's that's actually one of the only plants out of three I've ever got in the mail. <laughs> and it, it, it's doing yeah, great. Yeah, this guy's very, the Ring of Fire is very easy. To take care of. I agree. Yeah, I I think it should be a little bit more popular than than it is. Than maybe, it is. maybe it will get there. I don't know why it's not, but honestly, that's one of my fave. Everyone loves the Pink Princess. Yeah. Um, camera, sorry you can't see. There's a lot of albos over here. I got a lot more coming. This is another popular one. This one is uh, a recent. 
cutting that was now it's rooted and I just planted it not too long ago. So yeah, I don't know what to say about this. That hasn't already been said in my other videos. Yeah, exactly. It's popular. It's I mean, probably it's, uh, it's super popular. Jimmy's probably said everything about it. I honestly learned from Jimmy. So before you know, I watched all of Jimmy's videos maybe fifty times. <laughs> Blow them up on the TV back here. Do you, whatever. Think, do you think it's overrated? Uh, no, for me. Like, like, like cost aside. I mean, yes, it's it's very. I right kind of like it. I kind of like the fact that it can't be tissue cultured like the other one, supposedly, you know, and know. maybe yeah. my facts yeah. are wrong, you I know, know, I have no idea either. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Um, I like the fact that it's hard to grow. I like it that it's hard to root, but not as hard to root as some other plants. Um, yeah. I, I like the elbow. I think... Um, Give me that uh, shiver green up there, Lila. That, this has been one of the hardest plants to root. Everyone talked about, you know, I was so scared. Grab her the... the, the Lila will get it. Um... I was very scared of the elbow, Jimmy. I yeah. watched your video 5,000 times to make sure I knew what I was doing, you know? But now I have a great success rate. I feel this just recently got planted. I hope it doesn't oh, yeah, stay this, too wet. Um, it's a ficus, right? This yeah, ficus yeah. Right oh, man. Uh, see, this is how ADD I am. I already feel like it's a little too wet. I might even take some dirt out here on video. But this one is rooted so well. I just planted it maybe a couple days ago. But that thing, I would say out of 30, 40 cuttings, Jimmy, I got three. Yeah, I think this one's notorious for being very, very yes, hard. Yes, go ahead. You hold it. Yeah, that one. Right? This one's notorious for being very, very, hard. very, very hard. So anyone out there in Facebook land, do your research on that too. It is hard. Yeah. Don't buy one cutting and think you're going to get it. You better buy five. This is the one, this is the one that's very common in Australia. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I hope the Australian people are enjoying this. Because in the U.S., I think we love good. your plant. Yeah, it's, it's giving awesome. a lot of people a lot of a headaches. lot of joy. <laughs> yeah, a lot a of, of headaches. A lot of headaches. I got a lot of joy, but there's a lot of headaches go that are other people didn't quite. If, get so it. if if it does, so when it does root, mm -hmm. is it easy? Like after that whole like pro, like is no it easy to no because then it then it goes back into the game where you know Jimmy one of your original videos you touched on the main killer of a lot of plants. Root rot. This you thing just, rots really easily too. Just don't overwater it. Maybe it's in too chunky of, or not yeah, chunky enough mix. Yeah, yeah. Um, that one had an extreme amount of roots, so that one should be all right. I, just the main thing, I don't like to overwater it, and I'm guilty of it myself. Just I have so many plants, and yeah, is that a popular plant here? I would are say. People, are, you getting, are you getting people asking you for for that? People are Jimmy, but I would say it's so rare and hard to get here. Like, okay, if you want an elbow and you have the money, you can get it. You want a pink princess? Yeah, you can yeah, get it. But that one you can't. You got it. You want that? How are you going to get it? You're going to have to smuggle it in from Australia? You know, I mean, I have no idea. I honestly, if you, anyone else knows another one for sale, send me a pic. I would love to see it. I've never seen another one in the States for sale. So, yeah, it's hard. It's rare, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, I can't find it on Etsy, Macari, Facebook, anything. So, find me one, please. I'm curious. I, I would love to know. I have two or three of them. I don't know if I'll ever let go of them, Jimmy. I love them. Emotional value attached to that plant for sure. So, <laughs> how how much is that? Like how like what do you think? Like what is the going price for that thing? In the uh, US? I've never seen one else go for sale in the U.S. Uh, to be quite honest, I would say I don't know how many people out there in Facebook land that saw the post of where these came from, but I, I guarantee you, five or six of those people that bought them have messaged me. I've talked to them. And there's probably only two people I know that have had success with them on one of them. They're oh, hard of to find, oh, of rooting oh, oh, that. Oh, got it. Yeah, somewhere there's a magical unicorn tree where oh, someone's God. getting these cuttings off of. I don't know where it's at. I'm going to find it one day. But um, someone tried to tell me, okay, you bought the cutting for X amount. Let's just say someone, oh, you bought a cutting for $20. That's a quarter of a cutting, they tried to tell me. So, you know, it's probably worth... I, I, I had to stop her at that point. I don't know what number oh, she was going to give me. Oh, yeah. But I said, whatever number you're going to give me, multiply it by however many cuttings you think the five or six of us got, and that's my price. Because honestly, Jimmy, like I said, you can't, where are you going to find that? I, maybe in six months it will change and a bunch will come I think, over. I think when people talk about... Hundreds, uh, Jimmy, hundreds. I think when people talk about, like, quote, unquote, what a price should be... Um, at least, at least for people who aren't selling or aren't growing, mm -hmm. a lot of the times they just don't. They just don't think about the effort involved. That thing um, took six, seven time, weeks to even root. The time involved. I don't think they think about the plants that don't make it. Oh, tons. Right? Like, yeah. I mean, like for you know, for for every plant that you are able to successfully root, like what, 
How many plants like die in the process? Like that five? one's a five percent. Right? That one's probably ten of those died to yeah. get one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That that's, one's bad. That's, that's insane. It's like, bad. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. So yeah. then, so then that gets that gets incorporated into the cost. Into the cost, right? Yeah. I, you you can't just say like, oh, that one's only twenty dollars, and just like who shoulders the other five plants or ten plants that died? You know. Yeah. Like, oh, one was twenty, so that should be twenty. I don't care about your other ten that died. You know, the yeah, other ten yeah. were twenty. It's, also, it's, that's uh, two hundred. You know. Yeah. So you know, all that kind of comes in. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, that's that's just <laughs> that's, that's all, just that's just kind of what what it is. Where are we at? We were talking about popular plants. Maybe? We were talking about yeah, overrated, maybe underrated, some underrated plants. Let's go underrated. Oh man, I don't have nothing. I think the underrated. I'm, just, I'm looking around what you have. I have all the overrated, Jimmy. I love the overrated. <laughs> oh, I could give you the, this overrated fiddle thing or under. Okay, maybe people are scared of this. Oh, the variegated fiddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, People can be scared of that, but I don't you know. know what? I don't know if I'm scared of it, or I just don't like it. Is the <laughs> true? You could say that, Jimmy. So I, um, so I had a fiddle fig, just a regular fiddle fig, mm -hmm. uh, pretty early on in my plant collecting journey. Uh, it's you know the fiddle fig, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, is is super super popular. Yeah, at least. Just Even the regular it. one is just yeah, yeah. The regular one is super super popular. When IKEA has it um, and everyone else. Yeah, I think that I think it started in popularity because it started appearing in all these interior design magazines. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of always see it in a corner somewhere in a really nice house. True. And it looks like really really cool. The leaves, when in good condition. Yes. Look stunning they look it looks great but it can be a picky plant a finicky plant oh, especially okay. to a newbie if you want to rearrange your house and like, oh yeah. it'd be better in this corner be prepared i, I have to say drop. that some people i think there's like certain environments that they just get lucky and the fiddle fig just like it's the easiest plant in the world mm -hmm. right they just like leave it in some corner somewhere and it just it just like grows and grows and grows and, they're, and, and when you talk to them about it, they're like, oh, it's the easiest plant in the world. Mm -hmm. And then there's others that no matter what they do... They kill it. They just kill it. It The, the leaves just brown out. It just does not work Maybe well. lack of light would be a lot of it, I feel. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. It, I think light has a big, supposedly a big part of it, um, but... Just because I see yeah. them outside driving around Los Angeles, I see them huge. People always ask me, well, how big will the fiddle fig get? Well, as big as a house, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as big yeah. as you want. Yeah, I think. Uh, yes, I think I've I've seen one that's that's just like ginormous. I saw another day I couldn't put my arms around the trunk for sure. It was huge, you know. So, so do you think these uh, variegated ones are harder to take yes. care of? Yes. Yes. You know, this one I haven't had it very long, but it still looks the same. I've had it three <laughs> or four months. It hasn't done a darn thing. But what it hasn't done is die. So that's <laughs> that's a plus. That's a plus. You can yeah. wander in my backyard and find another one that's probably just a stick. It's a two hundred dollar stick laying around. It's yours if you want it. But um, these are these babies are expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it it wasn't cheap. It wasn't easy. I honestly, I'm trying to import some more. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And once again, it goes to import. I import a handful, and I don't expect them all to live. Yeah. You know, but I love them. So if I get two or three that survive, great. Yeah, I I had one and then I sold mine. Um, yeah, I just couldn't. It wasn't doing anything. And also, it was like a bigger one. Mm -hmm. So it was taking a lot of my real estate. And my place is like super, super small. Yeah. I'm going to stay away from this this one. <laughs> I will yeah. I will defer that yeah, yeah. to you. I'll let you know how it goes, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. I'll update you on that one. Um, underrated though, Jimmy? Dang. I don't know. You know I like, I think peperomias. Yeah. As a whole are, I think they're slightly like underrated. Like the turtles? Uh, mm. no, I think that I like the like the bigger, the bigger like the watermelon pepperoni. Really oh, to me. oh, we have right? a huge one of that. Yeah, yeah. Lila Madeira. Hand me the watermelon up there. Oh, that's sorry. the raindrop guy. That's oh. the raindrop one. We have a huge watermelon inside. It's honestly one of my favorite. Um, up on top, Lila, top shelf. I like these. I, I think they're. Yeah, I don't. I, are they underrated? I think they are, right? I would say the raindrop is. I think this is getting more popular for sure. I, I these sell fast. Okay. okay I sell good, a lot good, of them. Good. Um, I think the popularity. Okay, other pepperonias. You know what? Grab me some of those at the bottom down there, Lila. Any of those arbrisco's? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll take. I'll take one of these. Yeah. Let me see that. There, there you go. 
These are definitely underrated, but the popularity is coming up because I know why. Because I see someone, I saw one of these going the other day for a hundred dollars on Facebook. I'm not kidding. It was what? Yeah, a hundred dollars. What? Um, <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I could even show you the screenshot. Yeah, there was a handful of other ones going for. 35 to 45 was when my mind was blown. So I was like, all right, I better uh, hand me one of those, please, babe. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I, I, I like them. I love them. I think they look cool. Let me I, hold that one. Okay. I try to collect them just as much as my... Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. We'll grab yeah. our watermelon, babe. I like that this one. one. The big one, the watermelon pet. Oh. Yeah. I, Is this different from this? Yes. Oh. I think this one's called... Oh, wow. Ruby Emerald or something. This one is... Arbiscos, Arbriscos, I forget how to pronounce it, but quite honestly... It's just the same, it's just different colors. Different color. Right? I saw this one going for 100 but man, look how beautiful this one is. And then you'll find that one for 15 or 20 You know, it's like... It's like, like, a, like a gray or a grayish green with some... There's so many. Or purple or something on the outside. The real popular one would be... Oh, wow. The pink one, I forget the pink... This one is really pretty. Yeah. Here, if you want to see a watermelon pep, we have this one right here. It's just a little guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I love this too. So I couldn't pass oh, it up, everyone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, jeez. <laughs> yeah. They, these grow pretty quickly, right? And they propagate really Very really well. easily. On this one right here, you could easily propagate it from a leaf. Or, you know, you could take a stem and you could propagate it in water. Oh, moly, this one's nice. Yeah, you could. So what happens up here? Do, is there like... Are more going to come out from these? I think this is its flower, right? Is uh, that what it is? Is I, it the flower? I, I, I assume know. it's flowering, Jimmy. I assume that's its mini flower, kind of like a Hoya. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, don't don't quote me on it, I but, you know, I, I think that. But I guess Hoyas, too. Hoyas are getting more popular. But for me, I like the plant. I like the leaf. The flower isn't much for me, but at least you know it's healthy. That one's... That one's... Insane. There are definitely less expensive varieties of peperomias at the garden stores. Right? I got uh, this one yeah, when it was in a four inch pot for like six bucks. Yeah, I, I mean for people who just kind of like want to have fun, want to experiment, uh, you know, if you're just like starting out a plant that it's really hard for you to kill completely. Yeah, right? yeah like completely, if, like, yeah, yeah. I think if you overwater this, sometimes it does like, or if you repot it, a lot of, some of the leaves do kind of just like die mm -hmm. but um it is very hard to kill completely yeah so um i think that you know anyone who's like starting to get into planting or if you're going to gift a plant to somebody this is one of those very easy to to care for this, these hang out in my plant. kitchen next right. to the coffee maker my mind was blown when this one i got this one right here oh, i mean yeah. it's I don't just think I, I don't think i've seen that one one so big i'm pretty curious about what happens up here you know, Jimmy, I'm curious too, but I think it's the flower. Maybe it's yeah. uh, putting off seed. Yeah. You know? Yeah, probably. Don't know. Good question. That one lives inside too, and it does great. So that's a beginner plant. That one should be easy too. So how much? Let me see. So like a pepperoni, like so, so something like this. What, All right. What is the like? What does this thing sort of go for? I would say fifteen to twenty-five bucks. You no know? way. Yeah, easily. That's the Jumanji John price. Other people might try to give the whole, you... This whole thing. The whole pot would be 15 25 bucks. Yeah, you could probably find this at a particular nursery, I bet, $15, $20. Even, if, even at your Armstrong, I don't know what they are in other states, but yeah, they're not... Wow, so these... So are these, not ex expensive. So I would say that these have significantly dropped in price then. Yeah. Because I think uh, I, was, I was just kind of looking around. Probably last time I checked was probably 6 to nine months ago mm -hmm. and these were 50 a lot bucks. these yeah these were a lot more expensive don't get me wrong uh, some nurseries probably still will try to charge you 50 bucks for it but i think a fair rate is uh you know wow. 25 dollars is is a good rate for, for a, a full pot like that you know you can find wow. a full range for 10 15 easily yeah this is yeah then i would say that the prices have gotten a lot more that's good that's a lot great more reasonable yeah because <laughs> yeah i think I, I think when i was looking this thing was around yeah 50, 50 bucks to, Maybe even more, fifty to like eighty dollars. Can we reverse in time for something <laughs> for something like this? Uh, so I think you know I think that's great. I think that it's great that plants yeah. are becoming more more accessible. accessible. Yeah, I agree. Oh, oh, look, hand me the uh, the string of hearts. Oh, this is super popular. This. Oh is, my God, this thing is. I have a huge one inside, but that's a little four inch factory for some reason. It just pumps them out like crazy, Jimmy. This is yeah. This is one of the hottest plants. It is. 
it, 2019. I feel <laughs> it's easy to grow, but also easy to kill. That's what I, I hear. I hear some people get uh, have a lot of success with it, and others, um, yeah. I have a couple six-inch pots inside, and I pretty much killed two out of five of them, but the other two or three are thriving. So, you know, it's hit or miss. Same thing. Don't overwater it. Um, yeah. It yeah. does like a lot of light. Super popular though, but uh, if you want to, you know, people, if you want to propagate that too, you could just take easily take a strand off here. I, I just get it in, you know, some some sphagnum moss, and I'll pin it down with some bobby pins, and it will grow. You know, just don't overwater yeah. it. Uh, this is, it's it's I like it. Me too. I mean, I, it doesn't fit into my manly decor at home. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell people in my regular nine to five that I like the, the pink hearted plant, but you know. But yeah, it's it's nice. I I do I do like it. Me yeah. too. It's great. You should see the one I have inside, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. It's, well, it's dangling. We'll, we'll probably we'll probably see it in a bit, but yeah, this is it's nice. I, I love can, it I too. Can, I, I, I I even like the regular ones. Yeah. I don't even know. I think this are. is well rated. I don't think this is overrated. A uh, lot of lot of fans of this, oh. and then once it yeah once it trails and gets like dangly, it is. Wait, super, will you grab me the squaniferum over there? I think some people think that's. I don't know. I that's one of my faves, but maybe it's a little underrated, but getting more popular. Maybe the fuzziness freaks some people out. This one's got a little bit, maybe too much light, but. Yeah. I love the fuzziness so, of this stem. The squaniferum. Or yeah, yeah, however you pronounce it. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. This is. Um, I think this is tissue cultured, possibly in, in Europe, or it's it's very cheap in Europe and Australia. I think Ooh. it comes out to be about fifteen to thirty dollars for something something around this size. Over here, something around this size in the states, depending on where I you're at. I don't even know what the price of this is in the states. What what is it? Oh, Jimmy, it depends where you're at. I think you could get it for a fair price would be sixty five to a hundred. But I'm not gonna lie. I've seen people try to sell this. Someone on Facebook might try to sell this for a hundred fifty two hundred dollars. You know, easily. Wow. Just because. In my mind, I could see one, two, three, four cuttings, you know, I could get off it real quick and still have a mother plant. Yeah. yeah and each cutting plant. minimal, 20, 30 bucks once it's rooted, you know, so that's easily a $100, $200 plant. So this is, the, yeah, this is probably the most accessible fuzzy stem plant. Yeah. Right? I think. Uh, Easy to grow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, likes the chunky mix like a lot of other things. Yeah. I think it looks great. When the new leaves come out, I love the fuzziness. You know, I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe it used to freak me out when I was a kid, but uh, I, I think the fuzziness is cool. So I like it. I like it a lot. I think uh, the most, the, the rare, or I don't know about the rarest, but the, probably the most popular and sought after is the philodendron serpents. Okay. If oh. Talking, if we're talking about. Okay. If we're talking about fuzzy stemmed plants, uh, it's the one that's uh, comparatively the serpents is is fuzzier. It's more fuzzy, and the fuzz is a lot greener. Cool. Um, yeah, it's 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 no, very. No, it's on my list, Jimmy. It's it's a very it's a very attractive and but it's it the, the price point is a bit a bit higher if you can if you can find it. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit yeah. harder to find too. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. It was really great sitting with John and you know just talking just talking plants. <laughs> If you guys are enjoying the content, please remember to like, subscribe. Definitely helps me out a lot. And till next time, happy planting. <laughs>